Hello, I'm Kristen, and this is Kristen Cooks. Um, this is just a quick video today. Um, just wanted to show a little of my Christmas tree and uh, a little of my Christmas de decorations. I didn't go overboard this year, like I didn't do too much. Um, just wanted to show my, my tree. I thought it turned out okay. I just wanted to show a little bit of a, a little bit of food prep I did today earlier today um, I wanted to have something really easy for the kids to warm up before school in the morning so I did um, some egg bites just really really easy just six eggs here and um, then we're going in with a cottage cheese a cup and a third of that into this um, ninja blender cup uh, I had to do this in two batches because it was too full with with all the eggs and the cottage cheese. Um, but it's easy, just really a few, just those two ingredients and then whatever seasoning you want to put in. And um, <clears throat> I chose to use seasoned salt and dill, onion powder. Um, what else did I put in? Um, bacon that I'd cooked yesterday morning for breakfast and you'll see me I add in some um, Colby Jack cheese also I decided to add in some spinach too, just so I could um, get a, some more greens in my kids' day. And here I am adding it all in, and I had to put it in a bigger bowl. Like, it just wouldn't be my video if I didn't get too small of a bowl to start out with. So here's the cheese, and then this is going into mini muffin pan. I sprayed it really well with canola nonstick spray, and I put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes altogether. And they puff up a little bit when they're in the oven, but then when you take them out, they'll deflate a little bit. And they just turned out to be a really good snack size for kids in the morning. Um, so if you're looking for something quick that you can do for the kids ahead of time and something that they could warm up themselves if they wanted to, this is a really good option for the morning. And they could also have it with like maybe a little cutie or um, maybe a protein shake if they're really feeling ambitious in the morning. I mean, it's just, it's a good breakfast. And this is the dinner that we just had tonight. Really easy. We're doing, wait for it. What am I gonna do with all these ingredients? 
Let's see, Italian grinders, yay. It turned, it's really good. So I just used um, three hoagie rolls. Um, I'm showing you that I'm not splitting them all the way through, just like almost to the, to the all the way through, but not quite. Um, and it just helps it, the roll to like stay open a little bit better in the oven because you're going to put it under the broiler. So after I split open the rolls, then I get some mayo and I spread it on both sides of the roll. Okay, and then I have it on a cooking sheet here, and I'm trying to do this one-handed. It is not easy, folks. Don't try this, you know, only by professionals. Anyway, um, so the meats, oh, there's the tater tots we're having with it. So the meats I'm using are just salami and pepperoni, and it's just a really good combo in this sandwich. It works really well. Um, I'm only putting two pieces on each because that's all I had. If I had more, I would put more on there, but anyway. So here I am putting the pepperoni on top of the salami. Um, it's really good. Perfect, see? Thumbs up. And then it's gonna go under the broiler. I have it preheated to like 500. And I kept them in just a touch long, as you can see, it's a little bit burned, but don't tell my kids, okay. But it's really good. And then you just top it with the lettuce. Any kind of lettuce you want. Iceberg work, works really well. I had romaine, so we're doing that. And then I top it with a little bit of Olive Garden um, Italian dressing, the creamy Italian dressing. It's really good. I highly recommend this dressing. And this sandwich is really good for a quick lunch also. It's just really good. Try it. You will love it. So see you the next one.